Today we are talking about more hubs. Why? Because hubs are hubs and you always need hubs. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nikos. Today we're talking about more hubs because I've made videos on hubs before. I'm picky with hubs and of course I'll leave those videos links below so you can take a look but those were us uh, agreeing to uh, like the idea behind StarTech and how StarTech does their job with their uh, hubs there and there's a whole bunch of different types of hubs you can buy from them so I did do the reviews there that link uh, again is below and that will help you decide on the different types of hubs and start to explain different aspects of it now uh, somebody emailed me about this uh, tech wolf because I was looking for more hubs and we were talking about it uh, they emailed me and they're like like, hey, I found these uh, new um, types of hubs. And uh, of course, naturally, I uh, analyzed it, looked at it, and I thought, hey, why not try it and see if that will help my situation? I need another two. So logically, I bought two. This is a closed package. This is an open package. And I tested it out. Now, what are the features on this? Now, the company in question is Tech Wolf. They make a USB-C hub, or at least they uh, purchase it and then resell it as their own. So we're looking at it and we're saying, well, where are they getting it? And where are they getting the tools? And are they designing themselves? Do we really care if it works? So uh, this is 4K at 60 hertz. When you connect your uh, HDMI in, there's a 3.2 uh, Gen 2 10 gigabit speed, which is uh, phenomenal. And there's a 100 watt PD delivery. So that means there is an external spot here where you're going to be seeing a plug that you would plug here your uh, external uh, power charger that's 100 watts and that would give power to all of this and then what you would do is head over to an example here where you'll see that the actual uh, connection that's coming out of this unit that's already connected that's what's connecting to any laptop any computer and your feeds coming through here and then that uh, shares all the data through the other four connections so with this PD delivery we should have a hundred watts and you're off to the races now the idea here is that you would want to test this but before you buy it you check the reviews and of course reviews are never like a hundred percent so you you see all the questions that were asked here by people and it seems like everything's good and um, when you scroll down, like there, there are some significant uh, things that they claim this will do. And as I scroll down there, we go into the reviews and the reviews are uh, hit or miss, right? But we have 50%, 57%, five stars, and then it starts to trickle down for the rest. So you're, you're really half, half on the stars and people are like, you know, there's issues at 4K60 and so on and so forth. Now, the idea here is that you are buying something that you think should work and you got to test everything um, now when we're using the StarTech, we know that the power delivery here comes right from your connection so if you are using a thunderbolt or you're using a computer that uh, you're connecting your uh, type c that's going to do all the power delivery so depending on how much power delivery is coming out of your motherboard that you're connecting it to or your laptop you're good to go you're going to get the power you need and of course you're not going to get full 100 watts from this now can you get full 100 watts um it's the question becomes well even if you do does it actually transfer through each uh individual slot equally so you can get 100 watts for each no it's going to share the power there and this does take 15 watts to work effectively now on the other hand okay, this has its claims is that when this connects that i'm going to have a 100 watt power supply and i'll be able to use this effectively uh, which uh, is not the case. And uh, from the back of the box, uh, this should be next-gen power, okay? You're going to be getting uh, a, the 60 hertz on the 4K resolution, and then you're going to have the 10 gigabit speed, download speed for each connection. 100 watt uh, power delivery port safely charges uh, all laptop and devices and so on and so forth. So uh, it's great and all, great and all, but let's look at some of the reviews. Now, the ones, the, the reviews that say, hey, w w this is working great, power delivery is there, HDMI, 4K60, USB A ports, I just start to question this because I tested this and I was one of the people that did not achieve the speeds that it was saying. And most of these are devices when they're connecting them. I, I'm wondering how they're doing their tests. Now, um, you're, you're seeing some people talk about uh, the Apple computers and they're not, and they're working great in the five star reviews, but then you have somebody here with a MacBook Air 1 that doesn't get that achieved result and then you start to wonder hey what's occurring now there's a lot of different uh, ideas of 4k 60 Hertz and if it's working at 4k 60 Hertz um, 
and that's where I found some issues with this unit and of course I'm not opening the second unit but the idea here is for me is that when I tested this I plugged this in I got the 100 power uh, 100 watt power supply in here I did not get um, a good spread here of power between the three to the point where one of my um, uh, um, one of my LCD monitors that's external that connects with USB um, it doesn't even turn on uh, and then you start to question why now the idea of transfer rates I did not get the achieved speeds at all and uh, the the funny thing is like this that doesn't have power is getting the job done much nicer on that front however uh, what really just made me not want to test anymore and not even bother with the effective speeds was uh, the HDMI now I connected this to my monitors and I am not getting 60 Hertz as advertised and it, it got me wondering like should I keep testing or should I do some research more on this company now I did email them and it's my mistake on this because um, I, I did have a sequence of emails with them when I originally went to their website to just check them out they did have the one product here and uh, what was surprising with me you know they're it's on sale for $29.99 and when I went back to Amazon it was not it was still $54.99 so I emailed out to them I asked them hey can I still get the uh, $29.99 they're like yeah it now reflects it it's good to go we updated it and um, then from there uh, like I asked them uh, thanks for getting back to me also I have a question about the unit when it says 100 uh, watts does it use 15 watts for the unit itself etc etc um, and then I just ask a basic question they never got back to me um, and you know I was just kind of like too enthusiastic because uh, the people I was talking to said that this should be good and they wanted me to test it out uh, it does state all the different uh, uh, scenarios that you would be using and uh, the capabilities of this device so I thought hey why not let's try it out and see uh, what occurs here and uh, long behold when I tested it and it didn't work I was like okay let's let me look at this a little bit more and this is Tech Wolf electronics and they have a trademark on here so if I zoom in a bit there is a trademark and it got me questioning this so um, I just did a quick check and I started googling and then I found another company called Tech Wolf and they're they're pretty much selling a whole bunch of uh, different products uh, from laptops LEDs etc etc uh, they didn't they don't have anything from a uh, perspective of one of these um, they do have SSDs but they don't have anything from a hub perspective so then I was like okay so this is a totally different company and when you when you think about researching it we, we need to research I mean have to research because this is the idea of making sure that you're not buying uh, stuff that you shouldn't be buying and of course I didn't do that but I do want to confirm that I did email them after the fact and um, I never heard back I, I even emailed them to ask them hey can you do me a solid and let me send it back to Ottawa instead of the States because I bought it off the Amazon.com so I can save money on the shipping. Zip, nothing, absolutely nothing. Which puts into perspective everything we've been talking about here and really questions the product. So why keep it? I gotta be sending it back. However, before that, we gotta take a look at a few more things. After more careful examination, the top of the box, a multi-functioning hub C101A. So it got me interested in seeing, okay, what kind of a hub is this on the technology they're using? Google search and I start to find other products that are uh, showing this at 4K 30 Hertz. And I'm starting to then wonder, hey, is this what I should be, um, you know, really focused on is just figuring out, is this an actual product I want to be having in my possession right now? And if there are other products with that uh, mode. So let's go to Alibaba really quick, where this is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve for some. Alibaba.com does bulk ordering from factories that produce uh, all of the toys that we see on Amazon and well, basically anything that we're seeing in North America. Now, um, you can go to other sites, of course, but Alibaba is the quickest one where you should start searching for stuff. And if you look up Hub C101A, we do see a couple of these hubs with 100 watts, and you can scroll through here and start looking. Now, you want to be a little bit more specific, of course, and we start to find a couple of these products that are almost identical with uh, the... Uh, speed, the HDMI, the watts, all that. So we start to look at that and uh, eventually we'll find a company kind of like uh, this one, Xfanic. So when you look up Xfanic, they actually have uh, a lot of products 
uh, under their belt. And if you click on this one, it is actually quite similar to the one that we're looking at. So if we come back here, we see that TechWolf does have three USBs, the HDMI and the USB-C, and they do have uh, the different features specific uh, for them. So they must have customized this in some form or way. Now, I'm not saying that this is 100% the company they went through, but it looks pretty close. And when I scroll down, what I don't see their actual model, the C101A. However, I do see a whole bunch of other models where we do see that the capability are there so is it possible that the you know i just had a dud and i'm not opening up the other package i'm going to ship these back because of what i've discovered now but however like you're looking at this and you're saying could they uh customize things and uh could it be that they're not actually operating all at 60 hertz maybe there's some uh issues with the production uh you know etc cetera, etc cetera. and you do see though like it is capable for them to purchase on the different interfaces, on the different speeds. Uh, these ones come with an AUX 3.5 as well. Uh, quite similar. Now, I, for all of you thinking about, hey, maybe I can start a company and do something, this is like your best bet right now. Like you could literally come in here and order uh, at thirteen dollars, you you know you make five hundred pieces, and you can customize your logo, your packaging, your you know graphics customization all together, so they can make all these different graphics for you. And now you have a working product. You ship it in, and you go on uh, on just uh, Amazon and any other eBay site, you name it, any site, and you can just start selling these and shipping off. It, they're in high demand. They're in high demand. And there, you know, if you're thinking about Alibaba, or you're looking at other companies, uh, Global Source is another one of these companies that do this. They have a C104, and it's like basically the same thing. Uh, we're talking about Xfanic, and they just have the different models here. So I was trying to find uh, different ways where we could discover, hey, what is actually happening with this company, and. Um, you know, but this is like the reality of these things. And this company could be going this route. And we got to think about it from that perspective. And, and then ask yourself, like, you know, what about time? And what are you doing with your time when you're looking at the type of products that you're kind of buying? This was uh, 30 bucks USD, 50 bucks for me. Um, for $93, I can go get another couple of these and we're good to go. However, it doesn't fix my dilemma of having another HDMI output for when I'm traveling to bring uh, the monitor and set it up for any kind of teleprompter that I wanted to do. Um, again, th this isn't a hit on the company, but this is more of a... a perspective for everybody that's shopping around and trying to find things and when they're emailing me this is what I've, I've been doing people have emailed me and they're like hey I have looked at this product and it's not working and then we when I look further into it it's just a rebranded company with somebody just buying like a hundred of these and going hey I'm going to sell them I'm going to ship them off to Amazon with my own branded aspect and we're good to go like they're charging way less um, uh, you know, for the product in bulk. So why not buy a whole bunch, brand it for a couple bucks more? The company will do that from the manufacturers. They'll ship it over and then you just send it over to Amazon and you're good to go. And a lot of products are like this. And this is, I think, why we're finding a big situation in the market with Amazon where I'm getting products that are A, uh, not working properly, B, not doing what they're stating to do because the people who have them don't actually understand the technology behind it, or C, they're, you know, when you're getting all these products that are opened and they're, they're getting them back, they're repackaging them and sending them uh, in to resell and they're not even new. So uh, I, I just wanted to make this more of an informative video that, again, um, you've got to test everything. And if you don't test everything, you're, you're stuck. And again, this is probably what I'm going to go buy another one of these because I have way more connections now due to all the camera setups and everything that I'm doing with my uh, live streaming that I want to get going on. But um, overall, the question then just becomes what's best for you. List that out. Look at what are the requirements. If you look at the reviews, ask yourself, be really, you know, detailed in the questions you're asking. And if the company doesn't get back to you, like I like just had the situation, they didn't get back to me. I should have not bought this and I should have I waited for them to email back. And if they didn't email back, then we know it's not going to be uh, what we wanted because that question was specific on the delivery of the power and, and uh, the, the idea of delivery of data. So there we are. My name is Nikos. Leave your questions, comments below. And of course, uh, check out these two videos.